what codec are you shooting in? Uh, I know for the Black Magic cameras, we have ProRes, we have B-RAW, Cinema DNG on certain models, but still that's you know a raw format. And I feel like there's two schools of thought with this. One is the ProRes shooters are saying, you don't need to shoot in raw, it's overkill, it takes up a lot of space on your cards. And the raw people are saying, I wouldn't shoot in anything but raw because of the detail and the shadow and highlight recovery. And so what? Uh, for me, I've done both. I don't think it's a one size fits all application. I think it really depends on the project and certain other variables too. I've shot in ProRes for projects that are gonna be web-based. So YouTube, a website, Vimeo, something like that. Um, also, if someone else is gonna, going to be editing the footage, uh, the ProRes is just an easier format for other people to handle. Not everybody has the capabilities to handle the B-RAW or the RAW. When I first started, doing jobs the first two jobs that I did were you know for free for exposure and I shot in ProRes I also wasn't sure how long we would be shooting and you know had about a terabyte and a half of card space which will work with ProRes you might run out of space in B-RAW I did a project that I was being paid for I chose B-RAW for this project because I really wanted to make the image look great uh, and look ProRes can look great too. Uh, it's not like one is really bad. Um, there are variables within the codex too. So with ProRes, you have LT, 422, HQ. You have a lot to choose from. With B-RAW, you have two options of constant bit rate, constant quality, and then different levels of compression within each one of those. Constant bit rate means it's always going to be shooting at that level of compression. You have a high level of compression that will give you a little bit more card space. You have a lower, less compression, more information, but it's gonna eat up space on your card. I usually go with something in between like a five to one. Um, but once again, it's the variables. What are you filming? Are you filming underwater? Are you going into a place that's really bright to a place that's really dark? Are you doing run and gun? Is there a lot of motion, a lot of movement? Um, those are things to consider. And certainly the constant quality would fit you better if you're constantly moving from one type of image to the next. Constant quality will keep that quality the same and it'll vary from one shot to the next. If you have enough light, it might not compress things as much. If we take a look at this footage here, there's the B-RAW. And here we have the ProRes. I do notice, you know, if we take a look at this flower pot here in RAW versus in ProRes, you know, we're getting a little bit more information in the shadows, especially. For me, the RAW just has more of a real look to it a more lifelike look to it if you really want to push the shadows and the highlights if you really want to alter the color of something then i would say it's worth shooting in raw um, if you're in a situation where you are doing a fictional narrative try both see which one works better for you but here's where it really shines for me is uh so this was shot at 50 frames per second and notice the ripples in the pool it looks good right to me, it looks like the highlights are kind of a little blown out, but once we go over to RAW, just look at how much more information you get in every one of those ripples. And even in the shadows, if you look along the fence in the B-RAW versus in the ProRes, with a RAW file, you have all of this information here to work from as far as changing your ISO, changing your white balance. Uh, look, I understand we're supposed to you know, get it right in camera, but it's nice to have those options. So I'll typically shoot at 400 because I like the way it looks. And if I want to get a darker look, I can, you know, look at this from 100 all the way up to 1000, I can change that ISO. And if you take a look at this in raw, it's not changing the image that much. The camera raw function in Resolve gives you 
more control. And if you're not into color grading, you can really dial in the tone. If you're just looking for a basic look, you can select your color space and your gamma based on the camera that you have and it's set. You might just have to tweak with some shadows and exposures, but in here, you know, you have gamma controls, you have color, temperature, tint, and exposure controls within camera raw so that you don't ever have to go into the color wheels if that's not your thing. Uh, if you're doing a lot of content, it certainly makes it easier. I think it's nice to have all these options to record in. I, I know it can become a little bit overwhelming sometimes when you're not sure which one to work in, but hopefully you're taking that camera out there every day and shooting something with it, even if it's in your backyard, you know, try it in the daytime, try it at nighttime, try all the different codecs and see, see which one works for you. Once again, thank you everyone for watching. If you've made it this far, especially thank you. And uh, you guys know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'd love to hear from you. What are you shooting on? What codecs are you using? What do you find works best for you? And, um, until next time, we'll see you. Take care, everybody.